Um, finally, we have St. Lawrence University, Ashraf Chizito. Ladies and gentlemen, in Uganda, we have a unique culture where people convene and discuss. When we convene, we talk about any issue and every issue. For example, we can talk about food. Those who take peers, they take peers. Those who have money, they talk about money. We politicians, we talk about politics. Accountability, because the government is corrupt. Ladies and gentlemen, these things always happen in bars, markets, mosques, churches, and wedding, weddings. Ladies and gentlemen, we had another issue. Another issue which is undermining the duties of citizens. This is under national ob objectives, under directive principles of the state policy. We have listened to you. However, you have no case. In those four minutes they've given you, yet you know how to speak, assembly, and so on. Is that why we are here to listen? You have no case. Please, you just want to listen to your case. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. My question was, Brevity is the soul of the ways. In this regard, you may analyze the fact that the correlation between freedom of association and any event or act. Thank you so much. Before we discuss about freedom of speech, you should first bring facts to the house. How? Because the law is not as old as mine by. Are we supposed to uh, enjoy our freedom? Uh, as we use it those days of the state of nature of the rock jungle, or as the, uh, or currently where we are under the rule of law after the, uh, the social contract. Thank you very much, our uh, Alex Speaker. However, my humble inquiry to you is that with very clear evidence, would you say when the president stopped the media speakers from talking about the very politics? Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, the presenter. I want to actually present to inform the speaker uh, who just quoted that the president warned religious leaders to not use churches as platforms for politics. I think to me he was right. Thank you. The topic of today is well stated that freedom of speech, expression, and association in Uganda, which way forward? So may you please give us a way forward? Personally, my way forward is my quest to find the real definition of the word democracy because each and everything is rotating on democracy. We the youth, let us go back and get the meaning of democracy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, the panelists. Can I have a round of applause for them? We're opening up to you. All right, um, one minute. I'll start with the front table. It's good to sit at the front. The sun shines on you fast. Kampala University, Chambogo University, Bugema. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my comment is very brief and clear. The people you see in this world walking actually they are divided into two categories. One, we have people who make things happen. Secondly, we have people who watch as things are happening. And lastly, we have the group of people who ask what happened. So, brothers and sisters, it's high time we identify the category in which we go. Thank you so much. I sleep in our end. But you're not putting on the air.
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, liberty lies in the hearts of men and women. If it dies there, no constitution, no law, and no court will save it. I leave you with that as good for God. Keep your hearts burning with the love and desire for liberty. Thank you very much. Until Uganda begins to practice rule of law, we have a long way to go. Because it's all centered around rule of law. Ministers are parliamentarians, which are the people that are proposing policies and the people making law. You cannot make headway. We must separate the members from the judiciary, the legislative, and the executive. Thank you. Thank you. And you can continue with prayer and suffer. However much you are saying man is born to free, but it's always to change. But you can, you can even assure you that when the a baby is born, it's, uh, it's unbelievable cord is attached to the womb, the mother's womb. You can now to see how to lift that up. In conclusion, that far, even at that level, some issues are discussed from the master bed, that is your mother and father's room, and it acts as a bedroom, meaning you're also denied. Even as we know, some of you are complaining you have not gone to meaning actual conditions, time and interest of the nation also that they will. I thank you so much and I want to uh, inform you that we need to respect the aspects of the state of leadership that is a power, influence and authority. I thank you, I thank you, Hassan Sam. Bruce, Caroline and Joseph, I need to send the microphones to you. Between the three of you, or among the three of you, you have up to six minutes to do the pirate's job. The purpose of the Center for Constitutional Governance is not for you to come and debate and find a winner. I'm sure that's not the purpose. The purpose is to create an interactive platform where the students who go to Guru, who go to Kagali, who go to Makele, come and meet among themselves and shed off that imagination that Guru is better, Kabbal is better, Tomahed is better. When you are in this environment, you appreciate that much as you may be at NTC Kabbal, you actually have equal capacity. As close as you may be. And in some form, you have actually better capacity. But maybe the opportunity has not been granted. Every time I have an opportunity to speak, I tell my friends that in my entire life I've never had a grade one, not even at my place. I have never scored a grade one in my entire life, and I don't hope to score one now. <laughs> because I've been so stay where the grading is done. So that you have an opportunity to come to Kabbalah and be part of this gathering. Count yourself pregnant, count yourself ordained by God. And use this as a springboard for you not to move back, but jump forward into what manages this society and be part and parcel of that thing. I want to thank Sarah and the Center for Constitutional Governance. This is my second time to participate in this kind of event. And when every time I do, my hope, my spirit is energized. Because I see a people with a hope. I see people looking up to their future. I will really confess that most of the citations you had, I was hearing them for the first time. Most of them about them. Because none of us knows everything. And learning is a continuous process. What you know cannot make sense if it is combined with what your neighbor knows. Because it is only when you combine your neighbor and appreciate that you live in an environment and you change at the end of the day goals that are common that you come forward and create a new future. So I want to thank you and again thank the Center for Constitutional Governance for this opportunity to you as young people. I want to encourage you that even after school, look forward to remaining part and parcel of the engagement that bring you to you. For you stand alone, you are there. Start with others, opportunities created. Thank you very much. So now I honor 
pleasure and privilege to invite my friend, the Dr. Joseph. Allow me to take this opportunity to announce the winner. Hope Initiative Oye. Hope Initiative Oye. Oye. I will announce the winner to stand up and uh, of course be the guest of receiving what you've announced. Yes. And uh, this is none other than, as I can finally make a resolution, uh, Mr. Ade Jibok, Ade Jibok, Johnson, from Avenish University. We appreciate that your ideas are not only confined to Uganda but they cross all over the world with that kind of a low fraternity which you are already part of just for a better Uganda and a better world. We, we, we agreed to announce only the first and the second and the rest also are good as I said before. Please allow me to announce Mr. Nono Samuel from Maraya University of Science and Technology. Thank you, Pipita. We appreciate you. This is not to make a speech, but I'll finish my thank you. last thank you. Too. Thank you very much uh, from the judges. Yes. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, Caroline will ask you to do at least a minute and comment about the quality of debate. I really want to congratulate everyone. Everyone was good. Uh, our presenters were so good and wonderful. And you, audience, you're so good. But I have to comment. Um, there is acceptable language in the public. There was one presenter, I'll, make, I'll not mention the name of university, but who said something that I cannot repeat because I'll be like him. But uh, anyone who feels a little bit guilty can come and consult with me and I will advise. But I hope probably each one of you picked that language. It's not good. And then there was also one participant from uh, the audience whom I want to advise, actually I advise all of you, that we need to be courteous. I've been in courtroom for the last 13 years. But I tell you, it's not easy to stand here, to stand this side. When you see a person stand there and speaks, please be courteous to them. It, it, takes, it takes a lot of courage, actually. Public speech is not easy. And if we tell each one of you to come here, I'm sure some of us will be like shaking. But we should always use, uh, uh, I mean, comments that are courteous to others. At least standing up there and say, you've, uh, you've not made no profit. Someone said, um, you have no case. And then some other words, I think it wasn't courteous. At least I know that gentleman had some words he spoke. And he made some uh, marks. So let's try to find better comments in public. But generally, that debate was very wonderful. Thank you. To the panel, to the judges, to ourselves, to the moderator, to the and to the
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you very much, the universities. Once again, as we sign off, uh, the universities interface debate, the sixth universities interface debate. I've been, uh, as usual, I've had the pleasure of moderating and chairing the debate. Peter Kivazo, Katsi of CCG and WBS TV. Can I have those university cards go up once again? Uh, let me see, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty. Okay, there are twenty-seven cards that I saw. I may have failed to see others. Thank you very much. Kabale will sign off. Semi-finals coming on next and ultimately the finals. Thank <laughs> you.